everyone, it's Mari for Honey Bee Stamps. I'm going to be creating an A2 size card today and I'm going to be using the fancy frosting stamp set to show you how you can make some really super easy card fronts with some really simple and quick stamping methods that literally will take you no time at all and you can batch out a whole bunch of cards in this way. So I'm going to be using one stamp from that stamp set and that is the candle stamp and I'm going to show you here how I'm just going to use a whole bunch of rainbow colored inks to create a background or basically a patterned paper with this stamp uh, this single stamp and I'm just going to stamp out all of these colors of ink in a rainbow fashion and just by turning and twisting the stamp in different directions with each of those different colors I'm going to get it stamped on there about three times some of the colors I think I use more than three but mostly it's just three times per color oh the, the green definitely five times <laughs> Um, but you can just see here how I'm using that white space to guide me and trying to fill, fill in all of that white space, twisting, turning, going off the edge of the paper and actually even overlapping some of the colors. So this took me literally, I want to say about maybe five minutes max by the time I got the inks out and all of that stamped out. That could be one type of card front that you do that you can just make like a ton of card fronts with that technique and set them aside for some birthday cards. Here's another technique with that same stamp and this time I'm going in a horizontal linear fashion. I'm going to use a bunch of different colors in kind of like a rainbow order here using my ruler to help me keep these straight. So I'm just moving the ruler down about an inch for each different color. You can just see me stamping those across. I actually end up co covering up the green ink with the card front details that I use, but that's fine. I just wanted to show you here so that you can get the general idea of how I created this card front. And again, this came together super fast. So you could stamp out a whole bunch of these and get a bunch of card fronts done super quick. Now this die here is the Honeybee Stamps A2 double stitched, stitched frames and I've used that on my card front here. You can just see how it creates this really nice stitched edge on my card front. This is the Inside Snarky Birthday Wishes Sentiment stamp set. Oh my gosh, I love this. Make a wish and blow out the bonfire to my partner in crime. How old is that in dog years? It's all downhill from here. We're still hot, only now it comes in flashes. They say age is only a number. In your case, it's a big one, and so on and so forth. So many really fun sentiments in that stamp set that you could use for your card front or the inside of your card. Now I'm going to treat a small piece of scrap white cardstock here. This is Nina 80 pound solder white cardstock, and I'm going to use the scrap to stamp out my sentiment. So I'm going to stamp that out with some VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink, and I'm going to heat emboss with clear clear embossing powder over top of that to create a really nice dimensional crisp sentiment. I'm going to use the sentiment, do you need a fire extinguisher for all those candles? As my sentiment, I just thought it worked perfectly with that candle stamp. And you'll just see me here heating up and melting that embossing powder there for my sentiment. I will take the coordinating die for from the coordinating die set from the inside snarky sentiments and cut that out. And now I'm going to start to put my card together. So I'm using a yellow card base, some aqua colored cardstock as a mat over top of the, the card base there. And that's just going to give me a really nice, pretty uh, margin in the yellow and then the aqua for my card front. Now the card front with the candle stamped on it is going to be popped up on top of that aqua paper. And I'm going to use this unbelievably large roll of foam adhesive which you can purchase in the honeybee shop by the way and I will link up to that it's a really nice three quarter inch 3m foam adhesive it's a really nice thickness and it's perfect for doing what I'm doing here especially and that is popping up your card panel so I've got that all over the back of that card panel there and I'm going to adhere that onto my aqua base I'm just going to center that by eyeballing it and I will get that placed down there and I will be ready to do some details on my card front. Now I am going to use some of the pattern paper from the Funfetti birthday paper pouch paper pad and I love this paper pad. It's so fun. Lots of birthday um, papers in there but also some generic ones too like this 
rainbow diagonal rainbow print the um, really fun sprinkle paper is also really great and so I've cut out a strip of that rainbow diagonal paper to go across and you can see how I covered up the green candles there which is fine there is a smaller strip of the um, confetti paper over top of that just leaving a nice little border of that diagonal rainbow paper behind it and now I'm going to pop up this sentiment using some foam adhesive and stick that on the front and that's as simple as it gets really this came together super fast and I just wanted to show you some techniques for stretching your stamp sets and coming up with some really basic easy designs to make some really fun fast cards because if you're like me you always need a birthday card and I always need a ton of birthday cards as a matter of fact so it's good to have these in your stash lots of sentiments in this set for the inside of your card as well I have linked up to all of the products I've used today in this the description box below so make sure you check that out check the links have an amazing day thank you so much for stopping by and watching my video today and I will see you next Friday bye bye